Hey, y'all. So, yesterday was um, <clears throat> a moment of weakness for myself. One that you do not see very, very often. And I feel very foolish just because even though yes it was how I was feeling at the time I just kind of feel uh, I feel silly because I don't normally let I don't normally uh, I, I'm, I, I don't normally no. <clears throat> Just, I'm not the kind of person that reaches out for help. I'm not the kind of person that says, oh, woe is me. I'm not the kind of person that bitches and moans and gropes, groans about my life. Uh, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. I never have been. Um, so for me to do that, I was, I, was pretty, I was in a pretty desperate spot for me to be even remotely... You know he's gonna eat it, Lilia. He's a garbage disposal. Get out of here. She's eating dinner and she put the food down to the cat and she expected him to, expected him to just, just smell it and not do anything else. <laughs> so anyway, um. It's downstairs. Oh, I was gonna say, because Uh, upgrade. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, actually, I'll be right back anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I put the camera on the tripod so I can um, be a little... <laughs> um, I feel really silly um, for letting that side of me show. I'm not the kind of person that expresses emotion easily and that's kind of a situation um but thanks to two really awesome fantastic women um <clears throat> we now have food in the house and i don't have to worry about anything until next week the thing with my car will be taken care of I called and talked to who I needed to speak to about that. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the, here's what happened. When I bought my car, they just transferred my registration from my truck to my new car. And I thought that I had paid taxes um, because here in Rhode Island you have to pay a car tax. When you move here, you have to pay taxes every year on your car. I know, it's ridiculous, but don't even get me started. Um, when I bought my car, I didn't get any notification, I didn't get any bills, I didn't, and, and I had been getting bills for my truck before and I had been paying them, so it wasn't like this was a new thing, like, but I hadn't been getting any bills or nothing, I hadn't gotten squat. Now I bought my car in April, and so in December... I get this letter. <clears throat> this is to notify you that your 2011 tax account is delinquent. And I got it in December because it says amount due as of 1231. Now, they, um, I, I couldn't renew my registration last month on my car because of this unpaid tax. I have been trying since December to get a hold of somebody and and getting going up into the into where this area the, the area that this place is it's a real pain in the ass. Um, when you pay at the parking meters, when you put a quarter in, it gives you like 12 minutes. Anybody who knows anything in a city knows that 
for a city when you have business to take care of in the city, you know that you're ain't, your ass ain't going into anywhere for 12 minutes. So, and they have parking meet, uh, pa parking maids that are fucking like, they're like goddamn hawks on a mouse. I'm not even kidding you. Like, they don't care. They will ticket you. And here in the state, here in this this city, I'm not sure about any other surrounding city, but here in, in Providence, you get two tickets or more that you don't pay them, they boot your ass. They put a boot on your car. Um, they don't play. <laughs> so, I, and plus with the girls and stuff like that, it's just really, it was really hard for me to get up there. So I finally get a hold of somebody today and I'm like, listen, I never got any notification. I never got any kind of thing that said, you know, this is how much you pay. And not only that, but it's $650. Now I figured when I paid, when I traded in my truck and I bought my new car, that I was gonna, that when they say tax title and whatever else you pay when you buy a new car, that, that was my taxes for the year for my car. No. So when it came time to renew my registration for February, I got the registration right here but don't mind the red writing it's just basically saying renewal application must be mailed blah 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 um, and I didn't see anywhere it says because it says if your application is marked unpaid taxes it must be stamped by the tax collector on the of the community inv indicated now I didn't see it but there, it's right down here in teeny tiny little itty bitty print I didn't see it until like last night so, um, but when I went to go renew my registration, because I got this in the mail, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, maybe, you know, maybe it, it's fine, or maybe it was like a, just a mess, you know, mess up or something. I tried to, I tried to re-register in January, and it told me, you have unpaid taxes, taxes, you have to contact, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, crap. So that's what I've been stressing about, because this bill was $650. Um, well, I finally got a hold of somebody today and that's how much I actually owe, was $650. I talked to them, they're going to let me pay, um, I was going to not pay anything until next month, but I called my insurance company, rearranged some stuff, and now I'm going to make a payment this month and next month, and she said if you pay them, if I pay the majority of it, she'll release it so I can renew my registration and then I'll just pay the difference off however long. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Goddess. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you. That's taken care of. So, that is what I was stressing over about my car. Food is now in the house. And I still have a little bit of extra money for when this food starts to um, dwindle down. I can re restock. And then I get paid on the 14th. So, um, I feel very alone sometimes because I do live here by myself with the three girls and I have really nobody and I just sometimes I get really depressed and really upset and uh, hold on. I'm gonna make this quick because my batteries are dying again and um, so if you guys don't see me for the next couple of days don't get worried don't get concerned, don't get, don't do any, you know, don't be like, oh my god, after that last video, blah, 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 she's, you know, something happened, no, is my batteries died, and I have to go get more, and I really don't want to drive my car until it's registered, so getting to the store until, yeah, so, anyway, I apologize for freaking people out, I apologize for, you know, being real, I guess, I mean, I, I try to be real anyway, but, Honestly, sometimes it just, just the pain of what I'm feeling inside just comes out. And I, and I know I try to be happy and upbeat for you guys. And I try to be real and I try to be, you know, talk about different stuff. But sometimes, man, life just sucks and life gets in the way. But then now today, now look at it. I uploaded that video last night, which was actually Sun, what's what day are we on? We're on Tuesday. It was what I actually recorded Sunday night. So... I uploaded it last night because I'd already recorded it. I'd already say, up, uploaded it and saved it to my my computer. I wasn't going, and I, it was like by the time I got that video up, it, because I was so busy cleaning my house. Well, not my my house because tornado cleaning lady came in, but my living room was actually spotless. Look, my battery is dying, so we have to make this quick. But see, it's nice and clean and not nice and spotless and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm. 
I'm okay, I'm not leaving, I'm not quitting. It was just a moment of weakness and I'm good. So, I will see you hopefully tomorrow if my battery doesn't die. <laughs> and even if it does, I'll use my webcam. It'll be quick, but at least I'll be here still. Talk to you guys later.